Oh, that's a good ball. Hey, it's not as long as I used to hit it, but it's long enough to where I can still have a lot of fun playing golf. And that's all that we really want is to have fun. Hey, you know, Bryson has taken up all the headlines lately, of course, his feud with Brooks and all that stuff. But just his golf swing, how powerful it is and the style of golf that he's playing. He's really smashing it out there. But would you believe that there's now a guy on the PGA Tour that's even longer than Bryson and possibly straighter too? Let's take a little look at him right after this. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. As you know, I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter off the tee, pick up some distance so I can get back to where I was in my glory days, really smashing it out there. For me, hitting it long and straight all day is just a great way of having fun. If you want to have a little more fun with your game, then join us. Hit the subscribe button right here. Like this video at the end if you got some benefit out of it and leave a comment down below, especially if you have a question. All right, so I want to do a short little video on this 21 year old from South Africa who's now starting to kind of burst onto the scene, um, starting to place really highly in some events lately. Uh, his name is Wilco Nienaber. You probably haven't heard of him yet, but I think you're you're going to. It seems like he's a kind of a can't miss prospect in the mold of Bryson DeChambeau in that he just smashes the ball way, way down there. As you can see in some of these swing videos, you see the his average stat average for the entire uh, driving week was around 360 yards on average off the tee. I mean, that's ridiculous. If you could keep it in play, which he seems to do pretty well, then he can really do some damage. Now, what I really like about his swing is how much more kind of within himself he is than Bryson is. So he's creating more speed while looking kind of more in tempo and balance and rhythm, not looking quite like he's swinging out of his shoes. All right, so I wanted to point out a couple things that I really like about what he does that are really in the mold of the Mike Austin philosophy, and that is number one, and first it really proves Mike Austin's kind of number one anthem that he used to talk about, which is supple quickness, not rigid slowness. And you watch these swings, very, very much supple quickness going on. He's not overly big. He's 6'2", about 175. So he's more tall and lanky than he is, you know, built like other guys have done to, uh, to pick up more club head speed and distance. He's more supple quickness. He's kind of turning, not just his wrists and arms, but his, almost his entire body kind of into a bull whip. All right, the other thing I really like about Wilco's swing is that he's got a completely free release from the top of the swing. There's no holding on to it. There's no estimating. It's just a free flowing whipping action that you can see comes out, culminates in a large radial flexion, both wrists. Very early in the follow through. So he's not trying to hold a straight line here, but he's going for a right angle at this point instead. And that's what helps produce the most club head speed because you don't have the brakes on. All right, and there's a couple things that I don't prefer about what Wilco does. The biggest thing stems from the width of the stance. So he's got a really wide stance. And what you'll see as we play these same swings over again, you'll see that in every swing at the end of the swing, he ends up stepping back completely onto a right foot balance, which means he was never on a full left foot balance to begin with. When again, when your feet are wide, like this, you've got a couple options. You can shift over and keep your head behind the ball, which is what he does. But now, I'm falling backwards. I do not have a complete one foot balance. Now I can counter that in the follow through by doing this and I can slide my head over my front foot and kind of sway and I can end up on a front foot balance but now I'm kind of throwing off the angle of the shoulders as they turn through the ball. The wide stance I also think is gonna lead him to some potential injury uh, problems. I think this is a great swing for a 21 year old but I don't think this is a swing for a 41 year old or a 51 year old. And so a lot of you watching, you're more in that boat from 61, 71, even 81. And what I don't like about it is the, not only the width of the stance, but the 
ankle action of the right foot, and that is just a simple plantar flexion this way. And that kind of ha has his right leg as he turns through. It kind of has his right leg pinned. behind him as he turns all the way through and I believe that puts a whole lot more pressure and strain on the discs and the vertebrae of the lumbar spine right about here this is the L4 L5 and L5 S1 junctions which are the most likely to be injured during a golf swing instead I would prefer Mike Austin's method of doing it with the stances more underneath the hip bones allowing for a the head to stay back and yet achieve a complete one foot stance that makes me think that I can put more ground forces more force into the ground and create more power but also the ankle action rolling in and even dragging in a semicircle like a discus thrower would do if you have that little drag and in roll of the ankle it really allows the hip and the lower spine to go around and keep up with the upper spine without getting so much torquing on the discs and the joints of the lower back. All right, so Wilco Nienaber from South Africa, he's one to watch. I want you to keep your eye on his career and see what he blossoms into. Will he become like Bryson DeChambeau or better? Only time will tell. But one thing is for certain, he's off an awful lot of fun to watch drive the ball. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to go to my website, hititlonger.com, for about 100 more articles and great videos that I think are going to help improve your game. I'm located in Moore Park, California. You can check out my contact info in the description down below. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.